Hey guys, okay, so we're here with another episode of the Four Faces Journal. Um, the Four Faces, for those that don't know, is a stencil um, in my Etsy shop that I've created as a guide for making faces in your art journals. It's not a very big stencil. I do have larger faces in my Etsy shop, larger face stencils that could be used in a similar fashion. This one was purposefully created for smaller journals, which I love to work in. Um, if the demand is high enough at some point I may make these in a larger size but right now I already have large faces. I'll link my Etsy shop in the description below. Anyway, I have a bunch of these stencils with four designs on them and they're created so that you get hopefully more bang for your buck but also so that you can cut them apart. I like to take some of my art supplies with me traveling among other things and I find that if I have smaller stencils they're easier to pack. Um, I also enjoy working on sm in small journals, so I find that the little stencils are work great in that. Um, we've already done in episode one, we did this one, and this one, and then in episode two we did this one, which I almost messed up. And then now we're going to do another one, so I have this idea of experimenting with um, one of the spaces stencils, a white crayon, and some paint. Maybe molding paste? I don't know yet. I have it here. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So first I think I'm going to put my reading glasses on. And then I'm going to color in the stencil with the white crayon in all the spaces. I'm going to kind of be heavy handed with the crayon. I've got my uh, piece of acrylic underneath the page to give it some stability. This is a, you know, just a kid's crayon. It's nothing, nothing special. When you do use waxy things on your stencils, that's probably the one time I'm going to tell you that you need to clean your stencil. I'm not great about cleaning my stencils like ever. If you look at my stencil collection, it's pretty grungy. Unless I've been using waxy things or mediums on my stencils because it clogs up the bits of your stencil. So there we go. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna get my little brush and brush off the excess. I don't know how well that worked but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm gonna get a little tiny dish here that I've got sitting next to me and some paint. What color do I wanna use? Um, I think I'm gonna use this one, which is de by DecoArt, it's called Sea Aqua. Why? I don't know, just because it's there. Get a little bit of that. And some water. It's a craft paint, so it shouldn't take too much to water it down. It's a, not a heavy body, it's a thinner paint to begin with, so. But I want something that's sort of inky-ish. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I haven't experimented with this before, but the theory behind it is that the waxy parts should stay white or fairly white, and where the paint goes will get absorbed into the paper, in theory. We'll find out. If it doesn't work, we'll try something else. Okay. And then we're going to get a baby wipe. I don't want to rub too much because I don't want to rub the wax off necessarily, at least not at the moment. So we want to dry this. Whoops, got to turn the power on. Hold on.
the wax is sort of melted into the page like embo embossing powder, which is actually kind of cool. Where's that white crayon? So the stencils are intended to be used as a guide, as I've said before. Uh, uh, a suggestion of where to put your features on your faces. For those of you who are nervous about doing faces or are unfamiliar with the process of doing faces, this is to give you some guidance. going to take our Pilot Varsity pen again, which we've used before. It's one of my favorite sketching pens. I like to suggest my shapes more than um, be too realistic about things. That's not my style. It doesn't make me happy to do super realism or anything. And to be honest, I'm not very good at it, so. Take the brush. Actually, this time I think I'm gonna take a smaller brush. If I can find one, yeah. Here's one with a smaller point on it. This is the Pilot Varsity is water soluble. Remember we've got some of that wax on there too, so it's not going to um, take the ink. I'll zoom in so you can see what I mean. It's bubbling up where the wax is at and where it's just raw paper, it's um, soaking in. Okay, I don't know where the camera left off. I have no idea, but I am using this colored mechanical pencil by Pilot uh, in, in a dark violet color. By the way, my camera ran out of battery power. So I'm adding this to the places where the ink from the Pilot Varsity pen added some shadow. I'm adding some of this ink, some of this purple pencil. Okay, and then I'm gonna try my Uniball Signo. I have a love-hate relationship with the Uniball Signo. Just like the big pen. Oh, it seems to be working at the moment. Okay. Now the Uniball Signo is gonna not wanna write over the wax. So it's going to skip where it's waxy from either the purple pencil or the crayon. But I'm just using it to help me with some of the highlights like that. I like that. So there you go, there's another face in our Four Faces journal. We're gonna keep going and I think next we might try some collage, so stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying the series and I hope you're enjoying making faces with me and we'll see what we can get up to next. If there are any materials um, or techniques you want me to try in here, making faces with or without the stencils, let me know 
and um, we'll work on that. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links, including my social media, my happy mail address, where to get your own stencils from my collection, and all of that stuff. Um, check it out. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below and, um, and or suggestions for techniques you'd like to work on on faces. And uh, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.